Now you're probably wondering, how can someone win by giving his opponent cards? This better not be some lame Lava Golem burn deck. No, no, rest assured, this is quite a bit spicier than that. Hey guys, this is Remia, and we have a lot to get into. I'll explain things as we go, so let's jump right into the games. Game 1. Oh goodness, what is this hand? Some fortune lady cards and miscellaneous card draw spells? Well, to execute our plan, we need to draw a lot of cards and get really lucky on the way. Fortune ladies might not be a strong archetype, but if there's one thing they're good at, it's drawing cards. So let's get started. Play an upstart goblin, draw a card. Flip a coin for Cup of Ace. Score a heads and draw a fortune lady and a lightning storm. That's not a card draw spell. Well, let's just ignore that for now. I'm sure it won't form the primary game plan for the deck or anything. Let's summon Fortune Lady Past and activate Fortune Lady Calling. If we control a Fortune Lady, we can summon another one from our deck. Here comes Fortune Lady Water, and when she's summoned, we can draw two more cards. Now we can equip her with Wonder Wand. If we tribute a Spellcaster equipped with this card, we can draw, you guessed it, another two cards. One of them is Fortune Lady Dark, and that gives us a nice target for this Allure of Darkness. So we draw another Upstart Goblin and the trap card Waking the Dragon. When it gets destroyed by the opponent, we can special summon a monster from our extra deck for free. But that's actually the backup plan for the deck, so let's keep going. Next, we can play Spellbook of Secrets to grab a Spellbook of Knowledge. This is another card draw spell at the cost of sacrificing a spellcaster. Now we can finally use Fortune Lady Past to banish our Water Mage and use these two copies of Fortune's Future. This spell sends a banished Fortune Lady back to the graveyard and, you guessed it again, draws us two more cards. But first, let's draw a card with Upstart Goblin, and... Oh, good grief, what is this random Legacy Pack card? Jackpot 7. When it's destroyed by the opponent, it banishes itself, and if the opponent has destroyed all three copies of Jackpot 7, just like Exodia, you instantly win the game. Yes, this random win con is our primary game plan. But we need all three in order to even attempt our little scheme. Next, we draw a Harpy's Feather Duster, well, that is another way to destroy spell trap cards, but don't we need to give that to our opponent somehow? Well, return another fortune lady. Nice, there is another jackpot, only one more to go. Next, we'll play fortune vision to thin our deck and grab another target for a potential allure. Now, let's make a little call into the void for another card. Why do you call? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, wrong number. Yes, that is the last jackpot. Now we just need one more piece of the puzzle. Sacrifice Fortune Lady Past and draw into Gold Moon Coin. You might recognize this card from the last Silly Strats video, but just in case you forgot, it draws us two cards at the cost of giving our opponent two cards. Now our plan is finally coming together. We can play the coin and give our opponent both the Harpy's Feather Duster and the Lightning Storm, both of which can destroy our jackpots so we can win the game. The only thing left is to set our jackpots and hope our opponent can't resist the temptation of wiping away five cards. Come on, opponent. I don't need it. Come on. I don't need it. You know you want to. I need it. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. The opponent plays harpies, destroys all three jackpot sevens, and an extra waking the dragon, so... Happy feet! Bravo, bravo! Jackpot. We managed to summon number 7 Lucky Straight and hit the jackpot. But we can't stop gambling when we're on a roll, right? We gotta go again. Game 2. It looks like our hand is pretty well set up, but you've already seen the game plan, so let's skip through all the card draw. After all that, we managed to donate a lightning storm and get the dream of all three jackpots and two waking the dragons. So set all of our cards and pass turn. Your go, opponent. We, uh, accidentally gave you that lightning storm. It was obviously a misclick. We certainly wouldn't want you to clear our entire back row with it. Nice, no one can resist the five for one board wipe. That's another jackpot win. Now that you've seen the deck in action, you might be thinking, what happens when our opponent doesn't click the shiny button? Well, we played around 50 of the games in Platinum Rank, and of the 10 games where we actually successfully gave our opponent Harpies or Lightning Storm, the opponent hit the button every single time. 
And I mean every single time. Even if we couldn't find all of our jackpots, Having a couple Waking the Dragons, Summon Naturia Exterio, and Crystal Wing for negation was often enough to close out the game. Even when we totally bricked, we still managed wins against Runic just by letting them destroy our Waking the Dragon, summoning Exterio, and proceeding to negate literally every card they played. Like in this game. And this one. And this one. Well, that's the vi- oh. You want more? But you've already seen the deck, there couldn't possibly be a- Game 3. Well, this is a pretty good start, so let's draw through our deck. Nice, we managed to hit the jackpots again, and we gave our opponent a destruction spell. Now all they need to do is click the shiny card. Uh, uh that's not the right card, opponent. The script says you're supposed to click the other one. Necro Valley? That is definitely not the right card. Because it prevents cards from leaving the graveyard, it actually turns off our jackpots entirely. This is not good. I thought every opponent just used the Feather Duster without thinking. Uh, well, our entire back row is full, so it's not like we can even use this card at all. Our only hope is that they draw the Subterror Field spell and decide to get rid of their own Necro Valley. Pass turn. They use the coin we gave them, and... Yes! They activate the Hidden City to remove the Necro Valley. Now all you have to do is use that Harpy's Feather Duster we gave you, and... Battle phase? Wait, no, stop! And they're ending their turn? This can't be right. Did we find the one Master Duel player with self-control? Uh, well, we still can't do anything. Your go again, opponent. We just have to hope that Curiosity gets the best of them. They draw some cards. Don't you want to find out what we're playing? You know you want to, opponent. Come on! Come on! Yes! They decided to wipe away our entire back row, and you know what time it is. So they do have negation with Subterra Fiendus, but Jackpot 7 is actually a mandatory effect, meaning it will always go first in the chain, and with this Waking the Dragon chain blocking for us, we are guaranteed the Jackpot 777 win. I guess Curiosity got the best of them. And if you're curious, why don't you hit those shiny like and subscribe buttons? That way you won't miss the next Silly Strats episode. Or you could take a look at our last video where we managed to FTK our opponent with a card that's almost 20 years old. Well, that is actually going to do it for the video this time. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.